uh, in this in this video I want to show you how to start with reviews, how to import data, how to uh, create work file, import data, and also how to uh, generate uh, descriptive statistic, uh, plot the trajectory, etc. To start, click on views, double click on views, then you choose create new work file. You click here. Then you you can choose uh, between three types of work file structure. You have the first one unstructured and dated. The second one dated regular frequency and the last one balanced panel. The first one is usually used for when the data and the data is undated. For example, if you need to create 150 observation. Okay. The second one, this one is in general used for multiple regression model, cross section data. The second one, dated or regular frequency, is used for uh, time series analysis in general. Uh, after selecting this one, the second one, regular frequency, you can choose then. You should choose the frequency of your data. For example, if you have annual data, you choose this one. If you have monthly data, you choose this one. If you have weekly data, this one. And if you have daily data, you can choose between five day week and seven day week. Okay. And here you write your uh, start date and end date, and you can give a name for your work file. Then, if you choose the last one, balanced panel, in this case, uh, this one is used for panel data, and you need to uh, choose your frequency, start date, end date, and the number of cross section. Suppose that we have 10 uh, companies and uh, 10 years, for example, from 2000 to 2010, and you have a data for 10 company or 10 company. You write 10, and then you pick, you write here your the name of your work file. Okay. To start, we can start by file new, and then you go to work file. We click to work file. Excuse me. File new work file. Then you have this new box. You select, we start by the first one, you select unstructured data. Then we go to our Excel file here. We have the data about CO2 from 1 to 36 observation. Okay, we need to create a work file with this. 36 observation. We select here. We write 36, and we call this file or file CO2. Okay, and you click to okay. The new box appear here. We have the range from 1 to 36. So we have 36 observation. The sample is from 1 to 36. C is the constant in general. After estimating your model, you get the constant here, the intercept, estimated intercept, and the residuals are given here. Okay. To create our new variable, which is due to emissions here, we go to object, new object, we click to new object, and we go to series, and we write CO2 emission here, under the name of object. Then we click to OK. After clicking to OK, the new, you have your new series, which is due to here. Double click on this series, and you can here paste your data. Just before, uh, before this, you click to edit plus minus to activate the possibility of uh, pasting the, the data here. OK. We go to our 
same file, we select our data from one first observation to the 36 pm observation. Then we go to views and paste, and here you have the data. Okay, that you click to close. You can uh, don't forget to save as your file. For example, here I want to save it to the desktop. Okay, it's okay. Then, if you want to, for example, to see this series, double click, and then if you want to plot the graphic of the trajectory of this series, you go to view, view, graph. You click to graph. You have many options here, but if you select OK, yeah, you get your trajectory. Okay. If you want to. the descriptive statistic of this variable, you can click to start here and you get your histogram here and the descriptive statistic here. You can get this descriptive statistic in a table using view, descriptive statistic, then that's table and you click and you, uh, you get your descriptive statistic here. Okay, we close this time series, this series. If you want to calculate, to generate a new series, which is the logarithm of CO2, you go to Object, Generate Series. We want to generate a new series based on the CO2 emissions. Generate, we click, and this new box appears. We write here, for example, we create a new series, we call it LCO2 the logarithm of CO2, which is equal to what this new series, logarithm of CO2. And we close, and we click to, OK, LCO2 is equal to logarithm of CO2. We click, OK, and our new series is created, OK, it is here, you double click, this is the new series, logarithm LCO2 is equal to log CO2. We can see the trajectory of this series, it has the same behavior than this one, just the scale, the graphic is just different 